Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video, using this simple example, I will show you some basic operations for creating 3D solids in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used both for hobby and commercial purposes. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Now let's proceed to create this part in FreeCAD, start a new project in the part design workbench, and here we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Next we will create two circles with their centers at the origin of the coordinate system. The first circle has a diameter of 15 millimeters and the second circle has a diameter of 30 millimeters. Close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create a solid. We will add an extrusion of the sketch of 10 millimeters and click OK. Next we will create another sketch also on the XY plane. Here, choose the centered rectangle command and draw a rectangle whose center will lie on the Y axis. Add dimensions to this rectangle, 30 by 15 millimeters. Right click to cancel the rectangle drawing command. And now select this point, this point, and add a dimension. Enter 25 millimeters here. OK. Close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create another part of the 3D model. We will add an extrusion and let's set this extrusion also to 10 millimeters. What may catch your attention is that there are such lines appearing here and it may seem that these elements are separate solids but this is one solid and these lines are just a result of the display. In a moment I will show you how to turn off the display of these lines. Now let's add edge fillets with the control key select these two edges. Choose the fillet operation and add a fillet with a radius of 5 millimeters. Then using the control key select this edge and this edge and here add a fillet with a radius of 10 millimeters. As for the values in these fields you can input them from the keyboard or you can scroll the mouse wheel and then the value of the parameter changes. Click OK and we have created something like this. Now we will add more copies of this element along with the fillets. For this purpose, with the control key, select the last three operations in the feature tree, which are the operations that created this part of the model. Choose the polar array command. And here, type 3 for the number of copies. The polar array operation works by creating additional copies of the selected features around a specified axis at a given angle. Here the angle is set to 360 degrees and the selected axis is the vertical axis of the sketch which in this case coincides with the base Z axis and around this axis we add three copies of the selected features. Click OK to confirm this. Next, select the last operation. Choose the fillet operation and let's add a fillet to all edges. Click OK and now I will show you how to turn off the visibility of these lines. Select the last operation and here change the refine parameter value from false to true. Click somewhere in the workspace and now these lines are no longer visible and the whole part looks much better. Additionally, we can change the appearance of the solid. Right click here, select appearance and specify some appearance for the solid. And in this way, with these few simple steps, we have created such a part. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.